Hey Botters, Happy New Year. Can you believe it's 2016 already? I wanted to spend a few moments with you and give you a few behind the scenes thoughts on starting this year strong. As many of you are thinking about what's going to be different this year in your life, I wanted to encourage you and invite you to join me and my family and our church in a couple of the things that we do. The first of those is our 21 days of fasting and prayer. Now fasting is a spiritual discipline and honestly, it's one of the ones that a lot of people haven't experienced or maybe they just don't practice regularly. It's about giving up something we love for something we love more. And the goal is abstaining from something for the purpose of drawing close to God. Now I wanna invite you to join me and our staff beginning Monday, January 4th for 21 days of fasting and prayer. Many of us will be doing a Daniel fast, fasting from some type of food. We've created a resource to help you as you get started. It's included with the email that you received today. And whether your health allows you to fast from food or not, there's many different types of fasts. And I'll encourage you to take a bold step of faith and fast from something with us this year. I really do believe God wants to do more through you this year. And that can begin by putting Him first. Another way that we're putting God first in 2016 is asking Him to speak to us through His Word. We're putting Him first in the first part of our day. There's been no easier way for me to do this personally than with the YouVersion Bible app. And I know it's helped many of you also. I've begun the habit of reading through the Bible each year. And I'd encourage you, wherever you're at, to develop a strategy of what you're going to do this year through the YouVersion Bible app. There are great options from a verse a day to devotionals, family reading plans, and plans even to together with you and your spouse. So find a plan. Make God a priority at the first of your day. Another way of putting God first this year is to put Him at the first of your week. I really do encourage you to make the worship of God in His church a priority for you and your family. You miss a week and you miss a lot around here. And there's just something special that happens when we gather together with God's people to worship God in His church. So every time we're in town, God, we're going to put you first. Our family is going to come worship you at church. And every day, God, I'm going to meet with you in your word and put you first. And God, I'm going to start my year strong, intentionally, by putting you first and fasting from something. Three easy ways to put God first this year. Remember, successful people do consistently what others do only occasionally. And we're going to be consistent and in pressing into God. It's often the things that no one sees that lead to the results that everyone wants. So let's pursue God with everything that we have this year. Finally, I just wanna say thank you to those of you that serve faithfully, who are inviting, bringing others to church, man, giving consistently and leading others to become fully devoted followers of Christ. I am truly excited about where God is taking us. He is expanding our influence in communities all across this region. He is sending us to reach people that have not been previously reached. He's using us to impact a generation, to raise and empower young leaders, and He is allowing us to serve and love on others in fresh and new ways. 2016 is going to be a year we will never forget. So Happy New Year, Botters. May you experience all of God's blessings as you serve Him in 2016 with all of your heart.